Gabriel Fitzmaurice. Oh, thanks, Chair. I want to first of all welcome um, the, uh, the people from the different groups in. A um, few quick fire questions to you. Um, did any of your groups, it was highlighted earlier on that it's basically gone to one um, one place that's killing cattle at the moment because of mergers. Did any of the groups uh, put in a submission objecting to it, yes or no? No, we didn't. Oh. Were you concerned about it? Sorry, no, no, we didn't. We didn't put in, the Irish Organic Association didn't put in, uh, do you mean the monopoly on the beef yeah. sector? Sorry, yeah. no, we didn't put in a submission on that, no. Are, are, are you concerned that there's only one place to kill cattle, basically, no? Um, well, it's not so much one place to kill, there's other places to go with the cattle, but generally speaking, um, a monopoly is, is not ideal. We hmm. have spoken to the processor, who I won't name, I know it's inappropriate to do so, so um, yeah. I won't name them, but... Um, I mean, no. they have, um, <laughs> they've, they've basically said that if they can get more product in, they can go for larger, uh, larger markets, which is an interesting point as well, because at the moment, the main processor in organics can only go um, to re relatively small markets. They're not going to some of the larger, well-known European markets, that the supermarkets, because they can't, don't actually have enough product to get there. Um, okay. at, at the moment, it's still relatively small. Does your organizations get funding from government or EU? Uh, we get we get uh, funding from the um, from the Department of Agriculture. Yes, we do. How much? Uh, we get 175. We get a subvention of 175. That doesn't cover. Uh, that's for the uh, first inspection. It doesn't cover um, the additional inspections that we get. And obviously, we submit our inspection fees to the Department of Agriculture because it's part of the income for gone figure okay. that's calculated. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, I can come in on I can come oh, yeah. in on that as well if you want. It's Grace yeah, Mar from the Organic Growers of How Ireland. Yeah. How are you doing? Um, we know we do not receive any support from the Department of Agriculture. We're a voluntary organisation, and um, because we only deal with growers working in the horticulture sector, um, we did not obviously put in a submission to object to the monopoly in terms okay. of the beef market. That's fair. Um, second, or my other question. Um, for a farmer that has, we'd say, 10 hectares, and I hear this day in, day out, um, it costs about €600 Euro on certification. Um, when we get board B, if you're not in in in, in uh, organics, they, it's free, right? Why isn't there a scheme there to encourage farmers that basically you happen to pay the 600 because you could have 60 or 70 hectares, and I think it's maybe 1,200 or whatever, 1,000 or 1,200, um, that it's a, a fierce front load on a small operator with what they'll get out of it. What's your comments on that? Um, my comments on that is that our fees start at 195 euros for small growers. They go up to 600, but that would be a very large farm indeed. So that would be up around the kind of 600 um, hectares. Um, the uh, you, you said 10, it would be somewhere around the 300 to 400, it would be maybe 380. I can certainly give you the exact amount, but I, I won't leave the room to do so at the moment. But it, mm. it's it's not the 600 or, or whatever, yeah. And um, sorry, what, what was the other quest part of the question? I beg your pardon. The do you, do you see any way, say, Board Bia, when they come out, they're able to come out and give you your certification? To go through the different stuff. I know it's online at the moment, um, and it doesn't cost what you call. It doesn't cost. Why can't the same system be brought in an organic to encourage people to go into it? Because I think there's huge room, as you've all pointed out. In fairness to you, but um, sorry, deputy. When you say the same system, do you mean that that they don't pay for it, or yeah, that they don't yeah. pay for it. Um, sorry, just to be clear. Um, well, I suppose if we were getting the same funding as Ford Beer, we wouldn't be charging either. Um, but I know they have um, 
the the two private companies that run the board via certification are like ourselves. They're subcontracted to do the actual inspection work. I um, believe they inspect every 18 months. We have to do it annually because we're governed by an EU regulation on organics, which requires an annual inspection, plus all subcontractors, abattoirs, distribution, the full chain. Um, so we have to do the, the, the full chain. Um, I'm sure uh, um, if they wanted to reassess how it's actually done, that is very possible. It might be deduct the money further up up the chain or, or whatever, but I don't know what the funding regime is for board beer, but I'm sure the board beer inspection is being subsidised somewhere. If not, if it might not be directly by the farmer, it might be just general taxpayers' money. And is there... Um See, you talked there that Board Bia is a private company or and that they every few years they have to tender or whatever. Do you have to tender to the department, say, to get the to get the job of giving certification to farmers? No, we don't, but we do have to maintain our national accreditation and we're inspected by both DG Sante and the Department of Agriculture. <laughs> Or I beg your pardon, actually, the Department of Agriculture is inspected by DG Santi that then come and follow up with us on audits. So we have to pass those. Does any, is Do you any want to pass any your... Sorry, Mike. Just does yeah. Grace want to pass any comment on that? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's a, I'd like to come in there just on the issue of certification, because I suppose it was brought up in the previous session as well. And um, as I'm here representing the OGI, the Organic Growers of Ireland, um,